Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is the part 2 of the complete web designing tutorials using HTML5 and CSS3 cascading style sheet. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video, I have showed the basic HTML tags and CSS3 how to add the styles to the elements using inline and internal style sheets. If you are a fresher, before continuing watching this video, please watch my previous part 1 video. So let's continue this part 2 tutorial. Now I will show you on the browser how to write the left to right or right to left the text using style sheets. And so here I am adding some p tag or do tag. In this do tag, I'm adding some text. This is web design tutorials using HTML5 and CSS3. CSS Let's save this file. We'll check the output, how it looks on the browser. I'm reloading the browser. And this is the standard output from left to right. Now my aim is I want to add this text from right to left so for that I'm using the style div this div I'm adding the style which I which is the inline CSS style direction is a property of this style colon LTR LTR means left to right semicolon let's save this file We'll check the output. See, the direction has not changed because the text is left to right only. And now, instead of LTR, I'm adding RTL, right to left. Now, let's save this file. We'll check the output now. See here, the direction now is right to left. Now, if you want to add this right to left direction, to the whole web page just add and the body style is equals to instead of inline style I'm adding the internal style body body is an HTML element in this body I'm adding direction RTL right to left so now whatever we write in this body tags that displays from right to left. Let's save this file. I'm reloading the browser. So here we got a new output. The text position is from right to left. Except this one because if you check the H1 which is this one complete web designing tutorials we have specified the text align center for the h1 tag so if we delete this one let's save this file reload the browser see the complete web design tutorials so let's do it back i'm deleting this body style sheet let's save this file I'm reloading the browser. Up to now I have shown how to add the inline style and internal style shield on the HTML page. Now I will show you how to add the external CSS file into our HTML page. For that, now in this page I am adding the style shields. What I'm doing, the style between the style tags, whatever we have the style shields. I'm copying that part h1 and h2 and pasting here let's save this file I'm saving this file on the desktop let's give the name uh, style sheet style sheet one dot the extension of the style sheet is CSS let's save this file now here we don't require the style tag so I'm deleting here. 
but now we don't have any styles on this page now before add this style sheet external style sheet on our HTML page first let's save this file we'll check the output I'm reloading the browser so here we got a new output without any styles except this one because uh, this one we have added here in the inline style for this do tag now let's add this reference style sheet into our HTML page so to add the external style sheets we need to add the link tag in this link tag the first property is the REL which is a relationship between our HTML and the CSS style sheet is a style sheet let's add that one style sheet and the type of the file is text forward slash CSS file and the most important property is in the href property we have to add our the external CSS file the complete URL so between double quotes our file name is a stylesheet1.css but in this case if you notice the stylesheet1.css file is I have saved on the desktop in the C drive and also the HTML file also on the desktop so both file names are in the same folder which is in the desktop so I don't require to give the full path I am just adding the file name only style make sure give the correct file name here stylesheet1.css this is the stylesheet1.css that's it let's save this file now reload this page we'll check the output see here now this HTML page got all the CSS styles from this external style sheet one make sure if the style sheet is in the different folder you have to add the complete path here now let's check how to implement the list items in HTML5 uh, after the do tag let's delete this do tag we don't record here and also this em tag there are three types of list tags at the headings h3 tag types of list in html horizontal line in html there are three types of list tags first we'll check the first we'll check the unordered list which is the ul the ul tag which means we are adding the unordered list with the list items li is the list items the list items is apple the second list item is banana and li is grapes and let's add the last list item is mango let's save this file we'll check the output I'm reloading the browser so notice here we got the types of list is a heading after that we have added the horizontal line below that there is a list item which is an unordered list if you notice the list items is prefixed with the bullets dots now let's check the second list item is the ordered list which is the ol now between this old tab I'm adding the same columns copy this one and paste here let's add some horizontal line and make this h4 ordered list items h4 unordered list items let's save this file now in this HTML page I have added the first list items is the unordered list and the second list item is the ordered list items after saving this file we'll check the output 
and here we got the both outputs the unordered list items contains bullets and the ordered list items contains a numeric values 1 2 3 4 because this is in an order but one advantage in this ordered list item we can change the order of this list items in the ol tag i am adding the type is equals to if i add a now the order will be the a b c d in the lower case so let's save this file we'll check the output right now this order list items contains a default ordered one two three four now when I reload this browser, see here we got A, B, C, D because we have added the order, the type A here. Now the same property, the type, I'm using for UL, the unordered list. Let's save this file. We'll check the output. See? See it's not changing the list items order. So the unordered list items, the default is dots bullets only. But in the ordered list items, the order is a one, two, three, four. We can change the orders according to our requirement. We can change here. If I type I here, let's save this file. Reload the browser. See if I change the I. I get the, all the Roman numbers here. If we, if we want the ordered in the capital letters, I have added the capital A. Let's save this file. I'm reloading the browser. See here we got the ordered A, B, C, D in uppercase. Now the last one. is the definition list so let's add another horizontal line so it's a small let's add a small headshot h4 headers definition list items the definition list items i'm adding dl now in this DL tag contains the sub tags which is the DT and uh, DT and DD. In the DD I am adding fruits and in the DD tag I am adding the fruit names uh, apple DD go the next DD is grapes now I am adding another DT which is a cars DD I am adding the car name bench DD Holden the next car name is BMW now we'll check the output. Let's save this file. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got the new output with the definition list. The first one is a DD and DL. The DT tag is a fruits. It's a DT tag, definition term. And DD is a apple, mangoes and grapes. Now the next tutorial I will show you how to add the tables in HTML. Now let's delete this list items as well as this one also we don't require. At the heading creating tables in HTML horizontal line now when we want to create a tables in HTML first we require the table element after that in this table we have the sub tags the TR which is a table rows 
uh, the table rows contains table headers and table data now first I am adding the table headers which is a th the first table header is a employee name the second column header the table header is a email and the third one is a phone number let's add the phone just for the demo purpose I have or just for the demo purpose I have added only three headers in this table and now I'm adding another TR to define the table data so let's add a new TR now in this TR I'm adding TD in this TD the employee name is Charan TD email id chen at gmail.com and td is the phone number is one two three four five six seven so now let's add the another td now the next row copy this one and paste here and paste here check check at gmail.com and the phone number is random numbers is one she ram at gmail.com the phone number is something like that now in this table contains one is the table headers with employee name email and phone number below this table headers I have created another TR for to display the employee details Charan the email ID and the Charan phone number and the next line is the next row the table data is a jack jack at gmail.com and phone number so first let's save this file we'll check the output I'm reloading the browser so here we got the output of the table the employee name header notice the th is showing in the bold letters and below that we have the table uh, data so now let's add some styles to this table the table element we have a property called border is equals to 1 pixels so let's save this file we'll check the output Save. and here we got the border lines of the table now the same output instead of adding this property to this table I'm adding the styles and the style sheet I'm adding the table table is the HTML element in this table I'm adding the border column one pixels. Let's save this file and also I'm saving this file. Now notice in this table I don't have any property the border here. I have added the style to this table element in this style sheet one which I have added in this HTML page. So now let's check the output. I'm reloading the browser and here after I refresh the browser I don't have any borders for this table but if you notice in the style sheet I have had a border is equals to one pixel so here solid property to this border let's save this file So here we got the border to this table only. Now let's add to the headers, ph, and the table data also. Save this file. I'm reloading the browser. See here, after I added the table headers and td, we got a borders. If you want to change the border color of this table, the line size 1 pixel and the solid line 
and the third one I am adding the color blue. Now let's save this file. Output. I am reloading the browser. So here we got the border color is blue. Now there are different styles of borders we have. Let's check those ones also. Instead of solid, I am adding dotted. Save this file. I am reloading the browser. So here we got the dots to this table. Now let's change the color of the view. Red. And I'm adding solid. And the border pixels, I'm adding four pixels. Save this file. We'll check the output. I'm reloading the browser. So here we got a new output the border red color solid 